Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Uh, today's video, I've got a swarm here that I captured uh, on the 26th of the 9th. It's now uh, the 10th of the 10th, 2021. Uh, so I've just noticed on the front of the hive, the bees uh, are fairly sitting on outside the box. I checked this. I checked in this box uh, about a week ago. I put a small hive beetle trap in there uh, on top, uh, full of earth trap on top, and, I'll, and I also saw I just had snuck out some frames to see if the queen was there and laying. So. Uh, she was and there was uh, they started to I think they were at almost at the point where they're gonna uh, cap the brood uh, So yeah, we're gonna go ahead. I'll just bring in a little bit of smoke this time Okay, when when they're new when they're only freshly caught and everything and the queen isn't laying yet I don't use any smoke because I feel it freaks them out a little bit a couple of things we've got with us here today is uh, Whenever you're gonna do this sort of thing you need being prepared is the most I reckon is the key to uh, you know, being calm while you're doing your beekeeping and being relaxed. So I'm all relaxed here, I'm all set up. I've got my container uh, for any honey or any, uh, you know, comb or anything that I scrape off. Uh, I've got that ready to go. So that's right there. Um, I'm set up position, I'm comfortable. I've got my suit on, uh, I've got my smoker ready to go. Just a little bit of smoke, you know, a lot of people. I'm just gonna give them a little puff at the front door now. Okay, and they say, what? Righto, something's happening. Let's gorge ourselves and get ready to go. I've also got here, uh, just in case, so just in case today, if we do have to change the bees over to the bigger box, that's the idea here today to make sure they've got enough room. Uh, and just check, general, generally check on things. Uh, I've got a big box there, uh, ten, a full depth, ten frame box, uh, ready to go with frames in it. Um, there's five frames in here already. I've got five frames with uh, foundation on ready to go. Okay, so and this board is, I'll put that box there. Uh, you know, if I need to shake bees out the front or whatever, um, uh, or I'm ready to go. Uh, okay, so and of course, a trusty hive tool in that box. I've got a large, I've got a beetle, I've got a um, uh, sticky beetle trap ready to go. I've had a bit of issue with a small hive beetle lately, but we've been managing that and it's been okay. Um, so the bees have had a bit of smoke there. Oh, you can generally feel, I feel they've stuck this lid down, right? Which is a good sign, because it means they're going, they're working, they're doing things, they're, they're building their own hive, they're doing what they want to do. So, um, just get a tiny little bit of puff of smoke in the side there. You know, it's only a small box. Now they've stuck the lid down, I'm going to peek, I'm going to peek in, because um, what can happen is here? <laughs> they've had a real go there. I don't want to crush anybody. A couple, yeah, wow, geez, that's great. Alright, so look at that. Look at them having a real go. That's great. All right, so they're getting, yeah, it's beautiful weather. They're, ma they're making a difference there. That's beautiful. Look at that. Oh, sorry, Dale. I'm trying to sting me there. Uh, so that's beautiful. I'll just have a quick look for the queen there. Okay, no doubt she's down on one of those frames, but, you know, she gets around. So I'm just going to have a sneaky look there. They'd almost done this fully last time I, I looked in here. So, um... Uh, that's great. So we'll, um, uh, we might just deal with that straight away. So what I'll do here is, I haven't seen the queen there. Okay, a lot of bees are like, oh, we've got some smoke here. Um, you know, I love seeing the bee gap here. They just leave themselves the puniest bit of room. I love it. Just love how they can do all that in the dark. It's incredible. All right, so, you know, don't be afraid here. Just gonna put my hive tool down. Give us a bit of a shake. Just like that, okay. That's, you know, 80% of the bees. Interestingly, people say, oh, what about no gloves? And I'll say, well, when I started wearing no gloves back in the day, when I was coming up with Dad and Pop, um, it made me a better beekeeper because you change the way you do things. You slide your hand on things. Instead of just grabbing right around the corner there, slide your hand down you know and you, you end to start to realize what makes it you can really feel on your hands you can feel the vibrations you can feel the bees you can feel what they're doing it's going to give that another shake there okay now this is a little bit uh but i'm also just give this a little tap here. that's it you'll get rid of probably a fair few bees there okay let's give our friends there a little smoke until we move on like that there we go, you can hear it. Another little tap there, okay. 
a bit of our friends out of here. Now, I'm not hurting any bees by doing that, I'm just making it clear to them that I don't want them in the lid, right? There we go. Just keep shaking them off, you'll get them. Alright, that's enough. So, now, lucky I brought my trusty uh, bucket here. I'm going to put that down the middle here. And any bees I, that I don't want here, I'm just going to give them, again with the smoke, it's good just to move them on, you know? Okay, so just very gently again that's beautiful okay they're doing their thing in the lid here all right a little smoke for our friends here move on please ladies okay so you don't i mean don't get every single bee out but when you get to this part just check all that okay straight in geez that's beautiful you know how they made their little piece of comb there i love those ones they're beautiful all right so i'm just going to work my way down here there's a bee there so you know the more yeah, you're trying to do this with gloves on you know you're nine parts useless as a human so just really get the confidence especially with a little especially with a little um hive like this you know they're, they're not so much used to defending their hive i was here the other day and they they buzzed me a little bit but um you know you just get your confidence up with the no gloves on the small sorry Don, with the small situation okay Geez, they're making, I mean, this be a kilo of honey already. Incredible. Beautiful honey. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. So you probably, you know, just, just build the confidence. I'm listening to the bees. They've all settled down, right? They know, generally, once you've opened the hive, they tend to settle down a bit. All right, I'm continually looking for the queen. All right, there we go. Okay, so we've made a priority out of that lid, okay? We'll get all our friends the bees off there. All right, excuse me, move on. Thank you. All right, so that's out there, ready to go. We'll put that out of the way. All right, get rid of some of that honey. And you know, you, you're constantly working here, just nice and methodical. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, uh, just, just, just gently move some of these bees along from this end comb here and on the, you know, I'm barely puffing them, I'm just put, 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 put. No, they don't like that, you know. They don't like too much of that. Alright, so I'm just going to leave this, lift this trap out here. Okay, so, there we go. I'll still, you know, I'm much more, much, um, whoop, sorry. There we go, so much more effective without the gloves on, as you can see there. It's a small high beetle trap, beautiful. Beetles in there, doing its job. Pretty full, it's pretty good, there's not too many beetles in there. I'll move on from that. Now I'm going to be super careful here. I'm just tiny little smoke on the corners here just to move on the majority of the bees because old Queenie, Her Majesty, she'll be down in there somewhere. Now, there's not a lot of working room here. I don't want to squish any brood or anything, so I'm just going to go very careful. I'm going to lift this one frame here. Push it across a little bit. All right. Once I get that frame out. There we go. Bring this one over here. Push this one back that way. And I can free myself of the tool. Move on any uh, little friends there. All right. And I can feel the bees on me. They're calm, you know. Just gently lifting that out because a bit stuck together there. All right. Sometimes it's not ideal. I stuck it to the wall. <laughs> Beautiful pollen. I'm looking for the queen. I'm looking for the queen there. Uh, so I've looked down on that inner frame there, heaps of pollen there, lots of pollen, they're making space for her to do brood there. I'm looking in those tiny little uh, things for eggs. Yep, beautiful. All there, I can see tiny little eggs down in there. Okay, so looking for the queen. All right. So these, these guys are really uh, having a go here. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna gently Shake that off. I've had a good look for the queen, but I mean, it's not a guarantee, you know. Just gonna gently shake that off. All right. You can hear them, they get a little bit upset there. All right, but that's okay. I'm keeping an eye on them. Beautiful eggs there. Okay, so I've kind of got to work quickly um, now because we don't want those eggs out. We don't want those eggs out in about too long. All right, but I'll put them up against the box there. It's gonna go another frame just to make sure 
Okay, and I think we're work we've really worked towards a decision there that we're probably going to move this into the bigger box. All right, so gently, gently there, looking for the queen, looking on the frame on the other side in, that's still in the box. Okay, beautiful. I got grubs in there. That's excellent. I don't know if you can see that in there, but there's grubs in there on that side, which is great. Okay, it's heaps of grubs on this side. It's incredible. All right, so. That's really good. I'm just going to put that back in there. Haven't seen the coin yet, but not too not too excited about actually finding her. Okay, because um, you understand there now that I know she's in there. We'll just leave her to do her thing. If we wanted to mark her and all that jazz, yeah, we could. Just a tiny little bit of smoke there. All right, still haven't. I'm just working these frames very, very gently because I know I don't want to disturb the whole process here too much. All right, now we're in queen zone. I'm looking for the queen still having a look on the frame down still in the box it's generally where i get the best luck okay looking for the queen looking for the queen i just tend to blur the eyes a little bit here all right look at all that cat brood that's beautiful it's gonna shake some of these off so they don't fall off there we go beautiful cat brood okay i'm looking for diseases too i'm looking for all sorts of stuff plenty of cat brood there really a pretty strong pattern Okay, well oh, that's okay, she's doing her thing. I can see, ha, ah, I love seeing the tiny little eggs. The all little eggs down in the corner there. That's beautiful. I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna, do I love how they do this too. You really get a sense of, you've got the honey, the brood, and then the pollen around the outside in that in that ring. That's beautiful. That's, you know, you, you're going, you're talking textbook here, which uh, is uh, really good to see. Uh, Look at this. All right, just gently lowering that frame back in. Okay. All right. So now we can get into this next process. Put that out the way. We don't need that anymore. All right. They're really going to need a lot more here. Uh, a lot more room. You saw all the honey they built. Okay. And if we we've robbed them of that, but that's you know okay, fair enough. So um, what I'm going to do here now is. I'm going to mimic that right in here. So this is just a big box with extra frames. All right, so we've got a couple on one side, a couple on the other side. This is the one I took out first, okay? I'll put that right in here. All right, put that in there. And then I'm going to lift this one out. Excuse me, ladies. All right, I'm going to come out of there. I'm going to go straight into this hive, okay? Bees and all. All right, and they'll get the message. All right, just gonna push that up tight. I tend to go, I tend to go, you know, five mil, back it off, and then I go again on that. That just allows the beast to stay out of the way. So I'm gonna run an assumption here that the queen is on one of these. I'm not gonna bother finding her. Uh, and, and we've lowered the risk a little bit because, uh, you know, uh, they've got eggs in there and they can, they can make another situation if they want to with a queen, but I mean, it's not ideal. Gonna tie a little bit of smoke here, move these girls on a bit. Oh, small hive beetle there. Just flew off, that's interesting. Um, but they're really, if it's a strong hive, they're really onto it. I'm still pretty keen to, there she is, I just saw the queen, okay? That's a great one, straight onto the next, you saw there, I always look on that frame first because she wants to be in the dark and she wants to get, get going somewhere else, okay? Not, not be sort of spied on. So, um, I always look down on that one first, and uh, that's a really good sign. So we've seen the queen, she was nice, the big two. All right, so I'm just gonna make sure, if she goes in the box, then we can relax a little bit. I'm just being nice and gentle with these bees. You know, you can move them on with your finger. Oh, that's heavy, I bet that's all honey on the other side. So I'm gonna flip this over, see if I can see Her Majesty there straight off. It's probably in the corner of the other box, which would be hilarious, but I'm just gonna, oops, sorry, Alan. Looking for the queen, she'll be down low there somewhere. No. All right, she's heaps of pollen and honey on that one, eggs and everything. That's great. All right, so I saw her there, that's great. I'll, uh, I'll assume she's in there doing her thing. Very careful with that last frame because hands on, she's on that one somewhere. So just nice and gentle, nice and gentle. There we go. Now, I'm just gonna have another quick look in here for the queen just to know if I need to be 
a bit more gentle. Alright, okay, I can't see her in there. She's probably in a corner somewhere trying to trick me. Alright, now this is a this is a part of the process uh, that's a bit interesting. I don't I I move this whole box now. Okay? So I'm just gonna move that as it is right out of the way. Alright, fees and all, leaving that there. I'm gonna move this box, I'm gonna move this box into where the position of the other one was. Alright, so I'm just gonna set that up. We're gonna move that after we're done. Alright, and I've had the most success with I'm gonna put this board in the front door and shake the bees out the front, okay? And that is, that's to me where I've had the most success with this process where I, I, you know, they just love to walk up and in, okay? And that'll set them off to say, oh, okay. Yeah, this is where we live. Let's go in here, let's walk in, all right? I do also have here the small lapis hive beetle sticky trap. And you know, this, having that box behind me here, this allows me just to get ready, get organized. I'm not trying to deal with all a bunch of different stuff. I just slide that in with my hive tool, okay? So I'll just get the hive tool and slide it in just so it's not near the entrance, all right? It's just on that far side there, which is great. All right, still having a look for Her Majesty there. Now I can bring this box back. All right, just gonna have another look for old big, big lady here. No. So we'll get it, we'll get them home, we'll get them, we'll make a plan to get them home. So, just gonna move the bees on from the handle there. Scoops of them. Excuse me, girls, move on, please. Move on. Alright, so, I'm gonna shake this first. It seems to be, I reckon she was just in that far corner, so I'm just gonna shake, shake this bees in there. She'll go straight in, okay, she's up the top. Alright, and now the beauty of that board out the front, right, I can shake these bees out the front, right, and it's not on the ground and it's not hurting anybody. And even if the queen is there, now what I'll do is make it nice for them, okay? So I'm going to put this lid on, excuse me girls, looking for the queen, looking for the queen. She would have gone down to the dark if she was already there. I'll just, I'll give them that gentle nudge on top. People worry about squishing bees, but I'll just give them five mil. And then I'll just lift it up gently, give it a bit of a rub, and you'll be right. Okay, and then, yeah, I'm still looking for the queen. Oh, I doubt she's out here now. But she'll come back, she knows where her brood is. All right. Shake those girls out. All right. Put that box aside. All right, there's a bit of wax in here. Okay, so I just, just tend to try and deal with that, you know, before I go anywhere. All right. And what I'll do is, is um, we won't bother them anymore today. We'll just put that in our, in the honey box we brought with us. All right. Last thing we want is lid on, lid off, lid on, lid off, lid on. All right, so you saw there, very minimal smoke. Uh, we saw the queen, which was great. We saw eggs, we saw brood, we saw cat brood, we saw pollen, we saw, uh, you know, lots of other bees. We saw honey in the lid. Okay, so great. And I, I've been seeing a lot of activity on the outside of the hive. Uh, you know, lots of bees milling around at the front. I opened that lid, there was plenty of bees sculling in the lid, just with not much to do. Okay, so we've given them the room now and I don't, they'll still be able to defend the hive. I saw a whole heap of small hive beetles cowed up in the corner here which is a really good sign because they're, uh, you know, they're a hygienic hive. They're, they're uh, you know, they've got a bit of hy hy hygienics in their genetics and they're, they're, they're aggressive towards the small hive beetles. Uh, really nice, clean hive inside. It was beautiful. I mean, that, and they've, they've, they've just about to outgrow that box. It's a springtime, so there's just a bunch of bees on the front here. Okay, so, but they're, they're, they're going to do their thing. They've got all the other bees coming back. We'll give them, you know, you, you give them 10 minutes and then they'll be absolutely fine. All right, so uh, look, that's that's my process for doing uh, that particular task. Um, the biggest thing I can say to uh, novice beekeepers or beekeepers that are, uh, are trying to, um, you know, learn and get better, be, have a plan and make sure that you have everything at your fingertips ready to go, even if you're not gonna need it. 
I fully suspected today that's what was going to happen, so I made a plan for that. Okay, I'll just put this strap on here while I'm talking so I can get out of their way. Alright, and also, one of those things is like, you saw there I did that whole process, I was nice and relaxed, nice and calm, and I, I just, I didn't get stung once, okay? So, it, it, now, what I've found is, I've got dead bees everywhere when I'm wearing my gloves. Now, I've got some hives you got to wear gloves, and I know that from experience. They just, um, you know, the boss, she's, uh, she's aggro and all that, and it's, you know, it's a four-stack hive, and they, you just can't get near it without your gloves on. A little nuke like this, uh, you know, I really, um, huh. there's, one of our, there's one of our friends, small hive beetle. Interestingly, you can sex these things, which for no particular reason why you want to, but um, if you just squeeze them, put them between your fingers, just squeeze them gently, okay? I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but a big long thing came out, about half as long as its body. Uh, that's the females uh, laying, I forget what it's called particularly, but uh, it's like a laying uh, thing that she has in her body for laying eggs. They eat off the top of the cap of uh, where the capped brood is. She sticks that down inside and lays eggs all inside. Um, so you can see there, you just gently squeeze them and that comes out. So that's a female small hive beetle. Okay, now uh, uh, she's going to get real squished now. There you go. Okay, so uh, interesting little fact there. Uh, <laughs> the males, you squeeze them, nothing comes out. And if... Uh, Three things are going to happen. You squeeze them with their butt facing out, and a little thing comes out that's a male, a big long thing comes out that's a female. If a whole heap of yellow stuff comes out, well, you squish them too hard. <laughs> that's the third option. So, um, interesting with that. Okay, all these girls have nearly gone home now. Uh, really excited about this uh, swarm. It's doing really, really well. Uh, it's really healthy, and they're, and they're making a real goal of it. And um, we're up uh, another kilo of honey out of a lid, which is hilarious. Um, so yeah, uh, just get back to what I was saying about the, about the gloves. You become a better beekeeper if you get confident uh, with your gloves off. Um, and don't be afraid to have a go, get stung a couple of times, retreat, get your gloves on and come back. Alright, but uh, you'll be a far better beekeeper if you practice with your gloves. Um, that's it for these girls, I'll leave them alone now, let them all go inside and, uh, and that's it, we won't bother them again. Alright, happy beekeeping.